It lifted the coronavirus spectator limits today for sporting events, but many high schools aren't ready to pack their gyms just yet. KCCI's Lauren Johnson is live at Des Moines Roosevelt High School tonight where some basketball games are going on. That's right, the school has decided to keep crowds small. That means two spectators per athlete and coach, and right now there aren't any plans to change that. The proclamation was, was very uh, open-ended, but it is very specific for the high school level where uh, mask and six-foot social distancing is still required. Winter sports was finally able to return to Roosevelt High School earlier this week, with fans eager to get in the stands and cheer on the riders. <laughs> Governor Reynolds' new proclamation came as good news, but some sports programs say they won't be allowing more spectators. Technically, we have 124 spots. That's two to every one of those spots. And if you give each player two tickets for their parents, we have an average of 15 players on our varsity programs. There's 30 kids, so you do the math. Uh, we're almost at capacity limits just with that alone. And these limits are discouraging to athletes and fans alike. The roar of the crowd just doesn't feel the same. It may feel bad because I feed off energy when it's packed. With Friday's games being the first of the season, some wish they were able to cherish this moment with more loved ones. It, it would have been nice. You know, of course, they want to be here. Well, my daughter's a freshman getting to play her first high school game tonight. Even with these restrictions in place, fans are just happy to be back. We feel fortunate that the girls get to play. Um, even with the limited crowd, the biggest thing is they get the experience. Sander says they plan on live streaming all of their games online so families can watch them at home. Reporting in Des Moines, Lauren Johnson, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.